Hi guys, welcome back to Abjada. So in this one, we're going to talk about how to pass data from parent to a child or a you know, grandchild. I have already discussed how to pass uh, props around uh, from child to grandchild. There is a video on that. I also have a video on how to, you know, how to use uh, stores. And uh, there is also a video on how to persist this store using local storage or session storage. In this one, I'm going to be talking about these three. Uh, which is context, stuff, and direct import. Uh, now, these three ways of passing data is very interesting, uh, where it's only you know it's 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 just read only, so you won't be able to change it in grandchild and hope it will reflect in parent. It doesn't happen. It's just one way. So let's start with context. So this can be really useful in case of uh, you know our app, which is already running here. So imagine uh, the parent. To be this layout, right? Layout dot So in uh, in this uh, parent or in layout, we'll usually have slot, and we can have a header or something. Let's say uh, I'll just call this uh, parent or something. All right. So now what happens? You know that will show up here, and in index, let's consider this to be our child I'll just have a h2 here and call this child and I'll also have a component inside this uh, library folder and I'll create this as grand child dot swelled. what I will do is I'll import it in uh, our index import grandchild from library grandchild and I can use that here I think it's important twice uh, I'll remove that okay so grandchild is imported so in grandchild I'll have h3 and I'll call this grandchild Good. now we have this uh, you know uh, nice way of representation now let's say I want to pass something from the layout to let's say index or grandchild right um, so the way we can do that is the first way of uh, doing is which is probably the you know proper way of doing it is through context so the way we do that is we will import something called get context or set context so when you want to set some data from Swelt. Now the syntax is very similar to how you use um, local storage or session storage. So let's say um, you want to set context of, you can name it something user, and then you can have the data here. Uh, something like, let's say name, as I'll put my name, and then um, email. I'll put it as uh, hello at webshader. Dot com right so this is how you can set it i can also like assign it to a variable const user equals all this and then i'll pass the user here just for simplicity all right so once the context is set this will be available to like every every like child and grandchild so let's say we go to grandchild and then we'll try to get this. So we'll have a script tag, we'll have to import this time get context from Swelt. And so we'll assign it to something like user equals get context. And what is the context user? Because that's what we set it with, right? So you, you have to use the same name if you want to get the same context. So once that is there, we can use it here. Below grandchild, I'll have a pre tag and I'll have json.stringify just to see everything inside user, right? So now if I come here, so grandchild has this data, which was passed from the parent. You can also do the same thing in child, it will still show up. So this is how you use uh, context. Now imagine we are uh, not gonna use context we are going to use something else let's say um, 
let's say we want to use stuff now stuff will work only in load function so let's see how we can do that let me uh, use module context and export const this is in the this is in the parent we are doing load equals so here what we do is uh, we'll return something like we usually return props right along with that we can also return something called stuff all right so this stuff can have anything like uh, previously i had this user right const user equals um, i add name as my name and then uh, email I should have kept it dot uh, com I think yeah I can pass the user here okay so this stuff can be used in the child uh, this way so this also has to be uh, context module You cannot do that in a component however so you'll do export const load equals you will uh, receive the stuff like this and then what you can do is return this time in props you can return that stuff i mean in in any way you want you can return that if you want to return it as stuff that's fine uh, in here i'll have a pre tag as uh, I had it in grandchild I'll json dot stringify this uh, stuff right which was passed from there so I will have to receive it in a script tag export let stuff and in the child it should uh, show it so I'll have to uh, grandchild I'm not importing I'll import that as well I removed it for some reason Uh, let me there is an easy way of doing it this trick I use all the time yeah so yes so that happened uh, what is the error here apply including file name okay so whatever um, let me refresh okay child has it but it's not showing the stuff I don't know why we received shops of stuff exported stuff Stuff. did we set it properly stuff as user mm. props I don't know let me console it out that should uh, show up here It's empty. Uh, why is that? It's it's a child. Props is empty. Stuff is user. Ah, okay. What, what did I do? It should be context model. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So this time it should be available. Yeah. So it's there. So what I could have done is uh, I think here instead of that I could have done something like uh, user and then stuff dot user something like that so that would have been easier to you know get i think yeah so i would have gotten that now anyway so that's that's fine so this is uh, this is how you can pass stuff from the load function that's not the only way see if you don't want to write context module and everything what you can also do is you can import um page stores right page from app i think uh, dollar app stores and then this is a this is a, since this is a store you can have uh here dollar page dot stuff right so that also gives you the stuff yeah so it's already giving and if you use dot user uh it will properly show you you know what it is so uh this is this is one way of doing it um 
using using you know stuff uh, which I normally don't prefer like you know it can be useful in in some cases uh, the last one I was talking about was direct import so there is an interesting way of doing it so let me remove everything for now this um, this is okay this also uh, this let this be now imagine I have uh, this has this in the outside somewhere I'll also do export const user okay and uh, that is also inside also in the prop I will have something like something else okay anyway, it's, you know something okay so that is that is in this context module script of layout now in grandchild I can receive that this way import uh, one is user and the one is load from we'll have to target that uh, component itself routes slash layout dots world now user and load will be available here so let's just uh, see what it is I'll have a pre tag here and we'll have that json dot stringify as usual and we'll have user now if you look at here so we got the user from parent all right now if you want to see the load function <laughs> we can we can log that out here i think uh, console log this is a function actually if you don't invoke it it will show the function in the log i hope you can see it it's it's showing the function itself uh, if i want to invoke it will show props and stuff so i can get the props and stuff i can also show them here i think let's say props you load invoke that dot props dot something i think or just props is enough so let me say everything the other one is uh, stuff load dot stuff I think the spelling is wrong okay maybe caps now everything is here um, you're getting it I'll remove this uh, log now how is this happening so this is this is exactly what user and load is so since load is returning props and stuff we are able to import from the component itself so this is an interesting way to you know get data but i haven't seen it in uh, you know uh, the documentation of svelte kit but if there is you know let me know uh, this this can be useful i haven't used this in uh, production but uh, just, just try it out maybe you know it's useful in case of passing data from layout to the children so this is one of those uh, you know uh, very good use cases where I want to pass some data from layout and I'm not able to pass it to the slot right so you cannot do something like here uh, props right so there is there is no no way of doing it so you will have to use something of this sort you have to either use uh, context or uh, you have to pass it through stuff or you can directly import the component itself and do it so th this has some uh, you know um, disadvantages i believe uh, otherwise you know this would have been the best way to you know get data from from any parent any grandparent as well so yeah uh, that's it for this one guys i hope uh, you understood how to transfer data from parent to a grandchild i'll see you in the next one bye bye